Hello everyone, Mr. Weedy here. Welcome to the channel. Today, we will be discussing skill shrine locations on a township tale, as well as talking a little bit about crystals in the game, what type there are, and what they do as we take a quick dive into the mines using the Televator, which is a teleportation device you can use to skip layers within the mines. But first, we do have a special announcement to make. If you are not already a fan of the channel, feel free to skip this section with the timestamp provided down below. We have grown a lot recently, and I'm beyond thankful for it. Being a single parent, the motivation is always welcomed and highly appreciated, because life is always a grind, as some of you may already know. And I've definitely grinded the channel out so far. So with that, we have opened up channel memberships here on the channel. If you've really enjoyed what's going on here, then this is your chance to show direct support. Whether you become a half-wit, full-wit, big-wit, mega-wit, or high-rolling ultra-wit, just know that your support goes not only directly to the channel, but also to my family, and I will not shy away from how appreciative I really am for that. Of course, these memberships do come with perks, as well as members-only posts here on YouTube, and we will improve and add on these over time, so do consider the opportunity, and again, thank you for everything so far. It's been nothing short of a pleasure to bring this content to you. Now let's dive into the video with the Township Tale. First off, as far as the uh, skills go, we're going to be visiting the shrines with the first being the overall XP shrine that you'll go to visit to just kind of check up on every single level at one time versus having to go to each individual one. So if you just want to check your status or see if you have any XP points to spend, this is where you're going to go. First off, I'm going to assume that you have found Town Hall by now. It's super easy, just follow the signs. It's this tall building right here. Cannot miss it. Once you come to the front of it, you go ahead and take you a left towards Mountain Pass. As you come up on this bridge, you can just go ahead and cross it. Make sure you stop by this map and uh, grab it if you don't already have it. Hello, hello. Alright, once you take this right, this is what's going to take you over here to the skill shrine. And now this is just the overall skill shrine, so you can't really equip any skills here, but you can take some off. Let's take a quick look real quick. And here is the overall skill shrine. This is where you're going to come to check on each individual skill all at once without having to go to each individual shrine, just to check and see your progress. So you can visit these see everything that's going on at once put your hand right here and here it is you have a little blue lit up ring around each skill that is if you have any xp put into it or you're working on the level once it re wraps around you'll have a little dash kind of like you see at the top where my mining skill is that means that i can go and spend that skill at any point that i want by just going and visiting the mining shrine which we will visit here in just a little bit. Same works for each separate skill. The same. While you're working on a, while you're working on a skill, when you level up, you're going to hear a little noise. If you don't catch that noise, no big deal. You'll always notice when you have a skill point to spend because of that dash. So, let's go head on over to the combat shrine first, since it is the closest, and then we will carry on from there and leading up to our little mining expedition here in just a little while. 
So as you come out of the area we were just in, you'll just take a right to continue on down to Mountain Pass. You'll know that you're about to hit it because you're going to hit this sign. Again, stop by it. Make sure you put your hand on it. Unlock that area uh, that's visible to the map to you. And just carry on to the very back, and I mean the very back, of Mountain Pass. You're going to be going through all this little valley crevice spots and all that. You need to find the back area. You'll know it uh, here in this video. We'll, we'll get to it because it's the only way you can get up. So... And up we go. Get all these chests in here. All the fun stuff. More rusty equipment. We were talking about that. Another map, make sure you get that. And here we are up top at the combat shrine. So you just put your hand up here just like you we did at the main shrine. And Bazinga, you get to learn skills. So you could yank out a skill like this. Either put it up there. You'd come up here. Learn your skill. And if you had enough skill points, then you would go ahead and take that and put it on there if you wanted to equip it. But I already have mine equipped. I think you get the idea. Alrighty, the next one, we're also going to be starting from Town Hall. Except this time, when you find it, go ahead and take a right all the way up this hill. Another sign, don't miss it. When you get to the very top of this hill, there's going to be this little opening right here. Go ahead and go through this opening. to the top up here is where you're gonna find the archery shrine go ahead and have a little fun with that mess around with the skills on to the next one now this next one alarm again the next one starts right from where the entrance to the town is next to the spawn platform if you're facing the spawn platform or this area just head on the opposite way right under this little overpass looking thing Another map, don't miss it. Okay, now when you get to this situation, there should be a staircase here. You're gonna have to craft it. One of the two, because we have to get up here. I am on PC, so I'm gonna be able to climb this just to show you guys. Maybe, if it's nice to me. There we go. Okay. And then also, this would need to be constructed. <laughs> I'm not sure we can climb that with the bag that we have on. However, up this hill right behind me, that is the woodcutting shrine. Works just the same as the others. 
Um, so you just put your hand on it and your skills are going to appear there. There's some pretty cool ones, including uh, this ability that where you can uh, say you had like any type of wood sticks or wedges, something like that. You can make yourself a little pouch, you know, with two or more, shake it up and throw it at the wedges or the wood that's on the ground and it'll just boom pop them all in the bag that also have they also have a skill for that and uh, i believe mining has its own version of that and archery so those are like super cool uh, but yeah let's head on down to the next shrine now you should be able to get a pretty good angle on this this is the blacksmith Right up the hill on this side of the blacksmith is the blacksmith shrine. There's usually a staircase built in between where we are and the blacksmith currently, and it has to be built from the top. So it's not built right now. However, if we just go towards the right, here's our blacksmith shrine. Works just the same. Pull it, go learn your skill, and if you want to, equip it. I'm pretty much a basic scrub at this. I don't have, never really done blacksmithing, so there's nothing to see here. Let's head on to the last one, which is mining. Before we head down to the mines and check them out for ourselves a little bit, so we can explain a little bit about what Crystal does, because I get that question more than just about any lately, as far as pertaining to the mines. Okay, so the mining shrine is pretty straightforward. Once you have found the entrance to the mines, which is easy to find as well because there's signs all over town, you just look from there and you'll see, probably going to see a gap right there where we see a bridge, you're probably going to see a gap. That's because the bridge either probably hasn't been built yet. If it has, then it will be there. If it has not, then you have to construct that. So if you just follow it to the entrance of that bridge... It's pretty straightforward. And here we have the mining shrine. Like I said, they'll probably be adding more shrines down the road. So expect that. I, I just can't assume that these are gonna be the only skills. They might even expand the tray, I'm not sure. With that being said, Let's go ahead and prep to go down to the mines and check out this crystal that everyone is so eager to learn about, including the Televator. Just a quick note here, if you do look at the map, you're going to notice that there are these points here. Those also represent shrines, so the more you know. Alright, so here we are at the Televator. This puppy right here will save you a lot of time. However, it's not active right away just like many things in the game. So it does have to be constructed from within. Meaning that each one of these represents a platform. Each one 10 levels apart. They do not begin until level 10. I believe. Each platform that you encounter within the mines is going to have to have some sort of construction done to it. I believe mainly consisting of rocks things like that. Once constructed, that level will light up here, reflecting that it is available to use. The dark ones are not. In order to utilize it after it has been completed on the bottom end, you have to have these crystals right here. These are also obtained from, you guessed it, the mines. In order to reach a level, it's going to cost you one per level plus five. So for instance, we are going to go ahead and go down to level 20 and see if we can see some crystal. So I can show you a little bit more of what it looks like down there and what the different types of crystal objects you're going to run into look like. I can make them into a pouch, bring them over here, throw them into this little water pool, and it's going to accept them. I believe... That Televator might actually start on level 15 because that's where it's taking me. Don't quote me on that, but regardless. So let's go ahead, put our hand on the pedestal, and I'll show you what it looks like to take this journey instantaneously.
when you first get down here, be prepared. I highly recommend a flashlight because a torch just doesn't seem to get it done if you have really rich blacks in your headset. Now we'll move on down until we hit some crystal layers. Whew, all these eyes. We might have should have went down further, but it's okay. Remember somebody marked the spots, so we're just gonna run through here. Now all this is remnants of uh, crystal mining. So there was crystal ore here, or crystals, but they have been uh, scavenged a little bit, looks like. We can take those weapons and use them for our own, yeah? These dudes will tear you up if you're not careful. All right, now this is crystal ore. Super great stuff to find, super heavy stuff though, so can't carry too much of it unless you're getting an ore pouch. You don't have to mine it with a pickaxe either. Super cool and e it's even su uh, susceptible to air slash, which is really nice. Out of that is going to come, of course, the crystals that you that get to come down here. This is something that you're gonna wanna have. Uh, always recuperate the crystals if not profit more of what you spent to get down here. Also out of the crystals you're gonna find these shards which if you've noticed are what is on the side of my shield there and you can do various other things with these uh, you can even make crystal tipped arrows which is what I use personally and you'll have these big old swords they don't last a whole long time but they're great for when you are down here they're super powerful and then of course this like a uh, scythe sickle, the sickle looking thing. And all of them are melee so you can, once you have air slash uh, as the ability, then you can use that without any of these weapons. They're super helpful and of course you do get to harvest the crystal to come back down here which is the big plus because I think the televator goes down to like somewhere around 80, um, 90, which <laughs> I mean that's a lot of levels you can go ahead and skip if you just harvest the crystals and they do sell very regularly if you have any kind of economy or uh, any kind of mining going on in the server which pretty much everyone's going to be make sure you hit the mines as soon as they are reset I think it's every two or three weeks if it's on the quest uh, I imagine it's gonna be about the same rotation so make sure you're hitting those mines right away get the early levels done get it all in there and keep some crystals back in your inventory and in your in your banking system that way, whenever the televator is fixed, you have them ready to go.